Yeah, I know what I was doing. Doctor, may I ask you, as a psychiatrist, is it possible for a sane man to perform offensive or foolish acts? It happens every day. Assuming for a moment, this is a hypothetical question, assuming that the captain's conduct was harsh and oppressive and often showed bad judgment, would that be inconsistent with your diagnosis of him? No. No, my colleagues and I didn't find Lieutenant Commander Quig a perfect officer. We found an absence of mental illness. Then you would still say the defendant was unjustified in relieving him. From a psychiatric standpoint, completely unjustified. Your witness. Doctor, my background is legal, not medical. Forgive me if I ask some elementary questions. That's perfectly all right. Now, Doctor, you said in previous testimony that Lieutenant Commander Quig, like all adults, had problems which he handled well. Would you describe the problems? I object. Lieutenant Commander Quig is not on trial here. Lieutenant Merrick is. This question constitutes irrelevant probing of medical confidences. I rely on the judgment of the court. Evidence regarding Lieutenant Commander Quig's mental makeup is of the utmost importance to my case. The question is material objection overruled. The doctor may answer within the limits of medical discretion. The reporter will repeat the question. You said Lieutenant Commander Quig, like all adults, had problems which he handled well. Could you describe the problems? The uh, overall problem is one of inferiority feelings arising from an unfavorable childhood and aggravated by some adult experiences. What were those adult experiences? He'd undergone a lot of strain and long, arduous combat duty. I think that's about all I can say. Now, sir, would he be inclined to admit mistakes? Well, none of us are. Would he be a perfectionist, sir? Yes. Inclined to hound subordinates about small details? Yes. Would he be inclined to think that people were hostile to him? Yes, that's part of the picture, yes. And if criticized, would he feel that he was being unjustly persecuted? As I say, it's all one pattern stemming from one premise. And he must try to be perfect. Now, Doctor, you have testified that the following symptoms exist in Lieutenant Commander Quig's behavior. Rigidity of personality, feelings of persecution, unreasonable suspicion, a mania for perfection, and a neurotic certainty that he is always in the right. Doctor, isn't there one psychiatric term for this illness? I never said there was any illness. Thank you for the correction, sir. What would you call a personality that had all these symptoms? A paranoid personality. But that is not a disabling illness. What kind of personality, doctor? Paranoid. Thank you, sir. If I may speak, sir. I would like to protest the council's twisting of words. There's a big difference between real mental illness and minor mental disturbances. Let me put it this way, Doctor. 